West Indies had to go the route of qualifiers as it did in 2019 due to not finishing among the top eight sides at the end of the International Cricket Council Super League. Last year, the two-time World T20 champions failed to qualify for the Super 12s at the World T20 in Australia, and that prompted an independent review chaired by Justice Patrick Thompson Jr., a High Court judge at the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, and also included Brian Lara and South African international cricketer Nicky Orta. Roosevelt Skerritt, Prime Minister of Dominica and current chair of CARICOM, spoke Wednesday evening at a closing press conference at the heads of government meeting in Trinidad and Tobago, highlighting a commitment to help part a more successful way forward for West Indies cricket. Our comments about West Indies cricket comes out of because of our passion, our commitment um, um, for, for the game. And the reality is we do not want to lose. And we do not like to lose. And when we lose, we get vexed. You know, um, not because we have any personal issue with anybody, but we need there to appear to be a fighting spirit. You know, we, 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 have, we take it personal. And, and so the comments of the great prime minister here of Trinidad and Tobago on, on his Facebook page is out of his passion and, and as a West Indian and ensuring that, um, the, you know, w w he, he should be shouting in, in excitement and, and not kicking his toe against the wall in frustration um, by this. He highlighted the recent comments of Trinidad and Tobago's prime minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, who labelled West Indies defeat to the Netherlands as the worst cricket he has seen. West Indies lost via Super Over, leaking 30 runs, then losing their two wickets for eight runs. West Indies had posted 374 runs on the board. More so, Rowley has been appointed the new chair of the Prime Ministerial Cricket Subcommittee. As Carrot said, they would be meeting in the new week with Cricket West Indies to discuss how they can take this sport forward. We have agreed with the president of the West Indies Cricket Board, or West Indies Cricket, uh, to meet sometime next week where we shall meet to discuss West Indies cricket and how we can work together, how we can work together um, to better position um, our cricket in the Caribbean, in the West Indies, so that we can come back to the, to the glorious days that we, we, that we all known for across the world. Over the years, CARICOM has had some level of insight over West Indies cricket and it is hoped that their influence in this segment of the game, one which is extremely needed, they can charter a course forward for West Indies cricket. Reporter for the Newsroom, Akin Green.